Hey guys, welcome to the Traditional Bow Hunting Wilderness Podcast. This is Jason Sam Koviak. We're going to talk about everyday carry stuff for your vehicle. You guys have actually requested this this uh, video here, and we're going to talk about it. But this is what you should have in your vehicle with you all times, that kind of thing. And we have two different scenarios here. Because one, we have my Ram 2500 pickup that is our family vehicle. We travel around the country pulling a camper. Um, this is our go-to vehicle for everything we do, and my wife drives it every day. Um, and then we have my little Renegade, which is my my work vehicle that I use for taking back and forth down state and I also uh, beat the crap out of it and use it for a lot of my scouting and hunting and local stuff I mean I use that thing all the time I love that little ride so uh, we have these two different scenarios one being the the little renegade is a more purpose-built just use it when I need it and then the uh, uh, the the ram pickup is our everyday thing so it'll show you two different scenarios I'll show you what we have in there I did not set this up or prep anything so there's going to be stuff that may be not in there that I'll recommend that you have. Uh, they're not clean. It is what it is. It's just going to happen as it happens here. But I figured uh, the sun is down today, so it's a good day to actually show it where I don't have to worry about shadows and that kind of stuff. But when we look at these here on here, first things you will notice in every vehicle I have <coughs> without fail is they have a shovel. Okay, We live in the woods. You can see it right there. I have a shovel. And it is mounted on the, in the truck here, and it is actually in the back of the Renegade, you'll see. But I don't go anywhere without having a shovel. Um, fortunately, I have only had to use that one one time in here, so it hasn't been too bad. Um, and it was in snow, so it wasn't a big deal. So, um, But a shovel, I don't ever ha not have a shovel in any vehicle at all. Um, so, And then when we look at this, let's look uh, here in the front real quick, put you back on a wide angle. <clears throat> so when we go in here, every vehicle I have... You're going to find plenty of hats, plenty of gloves. It's just going to be, there's going to be hats and gloves in every single vehicle. It's just mandatory as far as I'm concerned. Um, and uh, we obviously got our power cables and things like that in there. Got a USB block down there. You know, that's normal stuff. A couple obvious extras, a little vortex monocular we use because we take this in the woods a lot. Um, so I have that stuff here. Your standard basic stuff in here, but I always, you will notice I have... Um, extra AA batteries, extra CR-123 batteries. That's what this is in these tubes. Um, this will hold one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight CR-123 batteries. Good quality CR-123 flashlight in here. A lot of stuff that, you know, little, little stuff, you know, it is what it is. You'll see I've even got another knife in here, right here. A Becker, uh, let me pull it out with one hand here. But a Becker BK2 or BK, what are they, uh, BK14 or whatever they call this. I can't remember. It's the one that's like the Azula handle. Uh, I've had it for a long time. It's a great knife, and it's just always sitting right there, ready to go if we need it for anything. Um, so we have that in here. So, uh, you know, some of your basic little essential kind of stuff that ends up in here, knife sharpener stuff, uh, you know, chapsticks, um, you know, anything like that. we got a connector here. If we want to run more USBs, we can plug that into the 12-volt outlet there if we need it. So uh, just your basic stuff in there. Um, underneath here. Uh, we have things down here. Now, as far as uh, defense goes, uh, I recommend you have stuff for defense. Whatever your means are, whatever your methods are, you know, go with whatever you need to go. Um, you know, we I'm not telling you where I keep a lot of that stuff or things like that, but we have uh, um, extra cables here uh, for that stuff. We have one of these, which are really nice if we want to plug in and run a laptop or anything like that in here, I can plug this into my 12 volt outlet and I get an actual power cord in here. I don't have one in my truck in this particular model. Um, so it's nice to have that and that will run whatever we want to in there. Um, so having, you know, that kind of stuff in there and everything that you want set in there is definitely a good thing. Now that's just your basic little stuff. You know, we don't keep a lot of little things. There's some Tums and some aspirin. Definitely important to have like Motrin um, in there. Some of that kind of stuff. This one here is my wife's compartment. I don't even know what's in there. Oh, she got paint samples. The gloves, obviously, we are in coronavirus. So these are so when I'm pumping gas and all that kind of stuff, we got it. Some spare fuses in here that are most common for when we're towing. Um, alcohol wipes, some cough drops, you know, it just your your normal everyday kind of little stuff there. Now where it gets good <coughs> is when you get into the stuff that we actually have stored for things like this. So if you come back here, uh even here, scent killer. 
hydrogen peroxide, which is good for so many different uses, a saw, bug spray, and a set of, pruning, or a set of pruners there. Uh, mandatory, must have. You'll notice down here, tons of water. There's a bottle there. That I think there's four bottles of water stuffed underneath there. This is a belt with a holster on it if I need it. Um, and uh, X-Spare mag holders and stuff like that too. So that just stays right under there. Uh, again, spare hat. Told you we got tons of hats in here. When we lift the seat up, toe straps... Definitely a good thing to have. That is uh, my uh, more tool straps there. We got these are the handles for my white Scott more power puller, which is this dude right here. That big power puller, extra things. We need vehicle recovery stuff. Okay, when you live in the woods, vehicle recovery stuff is mandatory. So for me, you're going to see a lot of that kind of things in here. Um, I don't not ever not have that stuff. This is mandatory for us. So you see a lot of that kind of stuff stashed and stuffed up in here. Um, now under our mat here too. We have got two compartments, which is really nice. Let me prop that up so it stays. We have these two compartments right here. In here, we keep a lot of stuff. Let me see if I can push that back further. Like that. Um, a Becker BK2 knife. Okay, this one's actually never been used, but I carry it. I have the one that has been used in my Renegade. But Becker BK2, this knife is the ultimate urban knife to have in any kind of environment. This thing is like a hatchet in itself. It's just indestructible quarter inch thick steel. Very affordable. Every vehicle has one in it. Um, a lot of stra extra straps for my uh, tree stands, duct tape, tons and tons of straps, uh, ratchet straps down there, cords, um, you know, just a ton of the stuff that you would think you would want to have in a truck um, that you should have as mandatory kind of items in here. We keep in here, but lots of ratchet straps. There's electrical tape down there. Um, just anything and everything that you would think you'd want to have in there, I can fit right into that little compartment right there and it's all safe and out of the way and set and tucked in there real good so we keep you're going to want that kind of stuff you know i mean that's normal truck stuff that you're going to want <clears throat> you'll also notice i do have back here i got uh tie down straps here i have cable locks over there um again as you can tell i'm not the cleanest person and i honestly just don't care the two by fours were full length so i could use them as a wrap as a ramp in the back of my truck, I did videos on there. I had to actually cut them to use them with ratchet straps to the tires to get me unstuck. Actually, when I high-sided this and had the frame sitting on there and its tires were just spinning, I mounted them to this. They stuck out about this far with a ratchet strap around the board on each side, and it lifted me and pulled me right up out of there. That's why those boards back there are already pre-cut. Um, they're already cut down from what full length would be. <coughs> now, when we come over on this side here... We keep towels in here. Many uses of them. Keep you warm. Uh, protect your seats uh, if you're, you know, if I'm out in the woods when it's raining. So we got uh, towels. There's, I think there's three towels stuffed under there. We can lift this one up here. Under here, same thing. More toe straps. Another towel in there. All kinds of little goodies in there. Now here we have, that's actually just part of the car, but this is my full-blown tool kit right here that I guess I've shown you guys. I did videos on this tool kit. It rides right here. That tool kit has everything in it that I could ever need for something. Again, as I told you, more gloves, as you're seeing right here. There's always gloves in here. You keep that stuff handy. Under this one, we have another compartment down here. One of the things I love about this Ram let me prop that up so it'll stay. There we go. Another compartment here. This one has bright eyes. These are bright eyes for my hunting stuff. Um, I have a saw. We don't ever go into the woods without a saw. This is important because of the fact that if trees come down or anything like that and block a trail, you need a saw. It doesn't have to be huge, but a saw. <coughs> this is my Vi Air air pump. I've done videos on. Stays right in there. Sweet, simple, easy. This stuff fits right inside of this compartment. So nice and easy that it's just... Uh, it's just perfect, simple, out of the way, but there when I need it. So, um, you know, that stuff is really, really good to have. I, I There's not many situations I can run into where I can't self-extract my vehicle, fix something that's gone wrong, or be able to pull myself out or get down a trail or have any issues there. And again, you see more waters in here. We don't ever not have waters in a vehicle. Waters are, are very, very important as far as I'm concerned. Um, on this side here too, I also always keep right here, I keep a headlamp right here. That's why you saw the CR123 batteries. Headlamp is in here. It's the one of the ones I did a review on at Phoenix. I, I love this thing. This is the best headlamp ever made. You know, um, these are those uh, HM50Rs. This is just incredible. Well, I keep one in here all the time. Stays right there in that little side pocket. So 
Um, as you can see, there's very few things that I can't run into. And again, I, there's some things I'm not showing you certain spots because, like I said, the defensive stuff I don't want you to, you know, you don't need to set your own rules for that and what you want, what, where, and how. And my attitude is most of our defensive stuff is on us. There's a couple things in here, but most of it is on us with just uh, some uh, backup mags and options in here for us if we need them. But that basically is the Ram, which is our family vehicle, um, and, but stays pretty local or if we are traveling with it usually we have our camper that is there with us that has more stuff in it so you can be selective if i'm taking this on a trip there's some of the things that are in here that i pull out and put into here that go with me now in here in this one a little bit different because of what i use it for now keep in mind filthy dirty again it's a work car um but again what i tell you hats Okay, I got hats here. It's winter time still. It's actually cold. It's that uh, well. It's it's actually April, but it's still only thirty eight degrees today. But I got a hat here, a hat over in that corner. That one is stuffed there to prevent my windshield from cracking anymore. I don't know if you can see it, but there is a big crack in my windshield, and that's keeping the air vent from hitting it. I have a mask in here because of the fact that I take this downstate, and when I go into a gas station or anything like that, I'm putting that mask on so it hangs right there and ready. I just took this to Georgia hunting, and I put this on every single time I went into a uh, gas station or did anything. And I have rubber gloves right here for pumping gas and stuff like that. Some of the things you need for this current time we're in. But you will also notice in here, right here, oh, what's this? Another headlamp. Never not have a headlamp in my vehicle. And this one hangs right here. I use them so often that it's not even worth putting them away. Uh, cords, extra chargers on there. Uh, that's actually my headset because the Bluetooth in this thing is not that good because it's not, you know, it doesn't even have uh, serious radio or nothing in this thing. The Bluetooth is not good, so I use that headset. Uh, makes life easier in here. But, um, you know, your simple pens, normal stuff. That GPS is in here because I'm, I'm scouting is what I was just doing earlier today. Uh, I don't keep many things in here again because this is almost like more of a work setup. I got my phone case, which I use this when I'm uh, when I'm out scouting or when I'm bow fishing or things like that, so that I don't have to worry about losing my phone out of my pocket. Uh, there is also down here. There's a bunch of change CR123 batteries. Why? Because I have a CR123 flashlight in my pocket and I got a CR123 headlamp right there. So uh, that stuff is always right there, handy and easy and uh, available. Now when I come back here, uh, again, keep in mind, I'm using it for scouting. So right now it's kind of all knocked down, but you'll see this bag right here, okay? This bag, I'm gonna pull it out, but it goes with me everywhere when I go down state, okay? This here is what we call basically a get home bag. That's what this bag is right here. Now, I'm not showing you what's in mine because it probably could be updated. And, uh, you know, it's, I don't think I've even been in this thing in about a year, year and a half maybe. So it's probably time I do. There's my other BK, my Becker BK2 right there. But this has got everything that I need in it um, to be able to get me. All this stuff is filled full with everything. And it is jam-packed. But this is grab this bag hit the road, walk home if I have to. Uh, roads are, you know, closed down, major problems, uh, some kind of catastrophe comes through, whatever it is. This is my get home bag um, if I am downstate. I have everything I need in there, including tents, including rain gear, including food, including water purification options. I have everything I need inside of here to get me home where if I have to ditch the car, walk through the woods and make it all the way back home from downstate, this will give me... Uh, uh, pretty much everything I need to be able to pull that off. So that stays in here all the time. Or if we are going on a trip like that with this, I grab that and I throw it in the back seat of this truck. So it's always with me. I keep extra towels. I don't know if you can see them, but I have three towels down there. They're like these black ones um, in here. They come in very handy for many things. So the towels are always in there. Now that Camelback just stuffs right up under my back seat like that. Again, we're in a black car, so it's probably hard to see, but it fits, kind of jams right up in underneath my seat. Uh, so if somebody wanted to be back here, if the seat's up, they could actually still stand back or sit in there and that not be a problem. So, but for me, again, this vehicle is usually just used by me or, or me and one person in the front seat. So nothing too crazy there. Now, when you come around, before we get into even the back of it, um, coming around on this side here, uh, like I said, pretty basic stuff. I do in here keep a charger 
a battery charger, like a power pack, and I keep it full all the time, but it's there if I ever need it. Uh, right there, again, in case I have to walk home or do anything, I have it to be able to keep my battery charged so I can have access to my cell phone. I leave it there because I regularly plug it in and charge it here. So that's what it's there for. Um, again, the hats are there. Uh, this is, like I said, just stuff I'm, I'm using right now. Perel hand sanitizer because of the fact that we are in coronavirus stuff here. Um, but that's pretty much it for the front. Pretty basic. Um, again, I'm keeping weaponry and stuff and things like that and defensive things to myself and set up but um i do believe that whatever you're doing like for what i my edc is on it all right i'm getting pissed at that but uh my edc stuff good to have spares of everything that you might need always have spare options for stuff um whatever the case is there um but that would be the front now when you come into the back back here and there is stuff under that seat too uh here you can see I have a big bottle of water and I have five, there's five wrapped around right there, but those are jerkies. I eat them pretty regularly, but I keep them up to date. Under here, I have four more water bottles and I have a Northern Mist, of course, naturally. Northern Mist Longbows, but I have a, a actual sweatshirt that stays in here all the time. It's always under there as well too, if I need it, uh, just to make life easier. Now in the back, like I said, I'm actually, it's dirty and messy. It's scouting season for me. So uh, this was from scouting today. I'm going to pull some of this stuff out. This stuff doesn't normally ride in here. Uh, so we'll set this over here. And uh, these are not normally in here or the white boxes. But basically, take this stuff out of there. Uh, we push that forward so we can get in there. But So these things right here, these traction boards, these are with me all the time. Anytime I'm in the woods in the winter time now when i go down state for work i pull these out and i put my camera gear in here so, you know so i don't need them i flip the seats up camera gear fits back here i don't have to have it but when i'm in the woods these things go everywhere with me they are just awesome in case of me getting stuck in soft sand or anything like that so i, I really like having them uh those traction boards with me so they go pretty much everywhere notice i got a granola bar here wire ties more gloves uh these are clamps for my bow but like i said it's always good to have stuff in here you might need these two towels just like the other black ones that are under the thing they're just nice and easy and they keep everything from getting beat up with me sliding all my gear and my crap into here now when i flip those up out of the way for right now take my cover out of there and set this here just to get it out of the way now under here this is where everything is that's in this particular vehicle you pop that out so you can see take that right out now if you watched my video on this vehicle i showed you most of this stuff but i keep another set of traction boards right here these are two mini traction boards if i need them to be able to get me out of there uh, i have jumper cables in here too i should also mention there are jumper cables in that truck underneath that back seat i wasn't pulling everything out um, but i have jumper cables right in here if i need them hand saw told you never go anywhere without a saw there's a bunch of straps that are wrapped here in a t-shirt straps and bungee cords and ratchet straps in case i need them this stuff is all just wrapped in a in a t-shirt to keep it from making noise and bouncing around in here um this is a rain cover that should be in there it must have came out but that's actually a rain a rain jacket mini rain jacket in there um ice scraper for winter time uh this is actually a plug kit this is pretty awesome, but it is a plug kit for getting flat tires, which is phenomenal. And this is one of the things that goes to my other one when I need it. Now, we have one of these not in the Ram truck, but I do have another one of these in. I'm trying to open it for you with one hand. But we have this in the camper as well, too. But, yeah, it is your standard uh, tire repair or tire repair kit right here with plugs in there and uh, this thing is dirt cheap it's like I don't know 12 bucks on Amazon and you can see it's good quality aluminum and steel construction this thing's built like a beast and it's a perfect little kit right there so that thing is really handy to have and like I said I have one in the camper and I have one in here comes in handy but I got a lot of uh um, you know, there's my shovel that I was telling you about. Uh, I got my jack right there for this vehicle. That's my car jack. I got a ton of rope in here. Um, I got toe straps in here. This bag is just to hold those big running boards 
when those are dirty, I can put them in this bag to keep them from making getting everything dirty in here. Because when you get them muddy, they can be make a big old mess everywhere. So that's what that is. Uh, toe straps all over in here, like I told you. This is actually a come along that you're seeing right here. This is a 5,000 pound come along if I need it to help get me out. More uh, rope right here. More toe straps. Now I can take those ropes that you see there, that dock line that's right here, or mountain climbing rope if you want. But I can take that. And I can tie them through the rim around here. Just tie it and or put a loop around and tie it right here. And have those go across like four or six places on that tire. They will help give you traction in ice. They give you traction in mud. Uh, if you're stuck in sand, they just give you a lot more traction. So it's just another recovery option. And like I said, as you can see, I got tons of that rope in here too. Now, down underneath this spare tire, there is a little pocket buried in there. And I'm not digging it out. But there's a small pocket down there that, will, uh, that has... A very small toolkit in there. When I say small, I mean it's uh, a pair of channel locks, a pair of side cutters, uh, two screwdrivers, and a couple of different bits for it's nothing major. But in this particular vehicle, I'm really not that worried about it too much again because I'm just drive down, drive back with this. Um, it is on my to do list to put a better toolkit in here, um, and I do have room to do it, so I'm going to do it. I just have not got around to it yet. It's uh, not, you know, it's on my to do list, but haven't yet. So that gives you a few ideas of everyday carry stuff in here now your plans for your edc may be made it way different than mine for mine they basically in this vehicle here they let i want to be able to get back and forth to work downstate and home and if something goes wrong while i'm down there i need to be able to walk home i have what i need to do it if I'm in the woods hunting or scouting out of this thing and something happens and I break or I get stuck, I need self-extraction capabilities. I have them. I want headlamps. I want simple things. I want that kind of stuff. I have all that in there. With this one, same kind of concept, but here I want the tool kits. If I got to work on stuff, do things, this is a family vehicle. We're taking it a lot of places. I'm pulling bow fishing boats with it. I'm pulling trailers with it. I'm pulling campers with it. The tool kit in here is absolutely tremendously important, as well as the self-recovery options in here as well, too. And having as much room as I do between the wheel well and the tires, those 2 by 4s work fantastic. I can't do the 2 by 4 and ratchet strap on this and make it actually go around that's why i have those ropes in there for this but in this one i can but i also have to have that really big heavy duty white scott power puller come along in here because of the the sheer mass and size of this vehicle uh so it gives me that extraction option so um but every one of them you've seen they got knives they have um you have defensive stuff you have lights you have uh food in each one of them you have you know water in every single one of them so i have uh, pretty much everything we need that's how i look at the edc aspect in an actual vehicle your situation may vary what you want to put in there might be completely different, but it gives you some starting points, uh, gives you some ideas. And don't be afraid to comment down below and give some more ideas because I'm always open to them. Uh, I try to think we have these vehicles set up pretty good. Uh, we got warmer clothes in each one of them. You know, so I mean, everything is pretty much set for most of what we need. Now, we do have a, um, we keep a dry bag in the garage. It is a yellow dry bag that we used to have for our Jeep. And in there, we keep some warmer clothes, some more hats, scarves, gloves, and extra wool socks um, and things like that. And we will actually throw that right in the bed of the truck. If in the wintertime we go on a trip, we just throw it back there. It's a dry bag, so nothing can happen to it in the bed of the truck, and we don't have to worry about it. It usually sits back there most of the winter, and we just, you know, strap, take the clip and clip it right to the tie down in the bed of the truck and leave it there for uh, for most of the time and it, you know what the dry bag works perfect holds up really well the sun in the summer will ruin them pretty quick but in the winter time it hasn't been an issue so uh so that might be another option anything you can think of don't hesitate to put them down in the comments below thanks for watching